it's funny to think about um, the moment, if there was a moment of breakthrough for, for Nancy and I in rock and roll, because it seems to me that it's been this long, slow, crumbling breakthrough. <laughs> um, because we're not only talking about music, a music career, we're talking about feminism. I mean, not in a classic old man-hating way, of course, but we're just talking about equality. And um, so those those mores come down really slow, you know, and, and because everybody has to, women can't just succeed because women want to. Men have to agree. It has to be a big agreement. So it, so our moment of breakthrough probably is a work in progress, constant. And by the time we're done, if the message we left is a big movement along the way, then we have succeeded. See, I think when I think about um, about rock and roll being testosterone driven, you know, there goes a red flag, rules, 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 you know. I mean, sure it was invented by men, and for women to come in and do rock and roll, sing a rock and roll song, they have to reinvent it in their own image. Um, but I didn't have any problem, for instance, singing a song like Communication Breakdown by Led Zeppelin um, or uh, Black Dog or anything else because, you know, it doesn't, it's not a, it's just as valid through a woman's perspective. Those, those words shouldn't be squished into the little box of testosterone, you know. I mean, it's, it's to me, I just didn't have any trouble with it. I just thought, this is fun, you know, I want to sing Highway Star. Why not? I, I'm a highway star. I want to be a highway star. I found Robert Plant's lyrics to be incredibly androgynous and flexible and supple. Rules out the window. And singing, to me, is basically another version of speaking. It's uh, speaking tonally. Some languages are more, um, I don't know, have more drama more dynamic than others like German for instance they can say in one word what it takes is two sentences in English to say well with singing it's the same as speaking only it's you use the altitude the up and down the hard and soft the, um, the fluid range supple range so it's a way to describe my emotions and to um, to explode or to implode or to tell well, especially for storytelling. Um, and when I don't get to sing, like say when we're not touring or recording or writing, if in those breaks that don't come that often, but, but when they do, it's a real challenge for me because I've spent most of my life singing, you know, just as often as I speak almost. Well, that's... Singing in front of a whole bunch of people is... Um, for me, it's imperative to leave the world outside. I mean, to just be really there with those people, to try and contact them somehow. I mean, there are many, many, many minds in this room. How do you just contact th them all as if they're one? Well, that's the challenge. And so it's to get inside the lyrics for me and to sing the lyrics as if I'm singing to one person, you know, like the big you you know, you and I are, are in contact. And I've got this, this poetry I want to tell you, and I really believe it. It's got to be genuine. See, I, I even put that on myself. It has to be genuine. Even when we've done six shows in a row and it's some little dinky place you wish you weren't, you know, I still want it to be genuine. I had got a guitar in my hands, and it was my guy. It was instantly my guy. It was my, I played piano and ukulele a little up to then. But it was like this, this rich um, character of sound that was really responsive to the touch and to the intention of what you wanted it to say. And it had a lot to say just on its own, the guitar. Yeah, there weren't a lot of girls that were encouraged to play certain instruments um, and tried to play uh, trumpet for a little while in the school band, 
which she was discouraged from doing because it just wasn't a female's thing to do. Uh, it's maybe it was too loud or brash or something. Um, so they encouraged her to switch to flute, which was a much more feminine kind of an instrument. Um, so I think, you know, guitar was an, an odd instrument for little girls, too. Um, except for the folk, the folk movement of the time, there were some, you know, there were some um, very sort of delicate, very, very delicate acoustic guitarists who were women at that time. But more as storytellers, more as accompanists, you know, not as real dig-in players. And so, um, but I didn't have a context for that. I didn't understand that there was something so different starting out. I don't think Anna or I had any concept that we were unusual to have this idea to go straight for the Beatles type thing. You know, so we um, completely just without a sexual reference involved. As kids, we just strode in. We just walked in the door and made a band or two or three or five or ten. You know, it's always been a really big challenge to be taken seriously from the very beginning um, or to be, put, to be even um, understood. We sort of created our own category, I think, and we've just kind of maintained our own niche, niche, you know, niche. Um, so there's nothing much to compare us to. And really, how many women are there in, in hard rock? I mean, most women are pop, pop music, or rhythm and blues or something, or dance, you know. Not a lot of real rock women out there that you can really think of. You hear... Uh, a lot of women play guitar really differently. Um, a lot of women play guitar very um, respectfully. And they they play with the guitar. <laughs> they don't play it. They play with it. Um, you know, most often I think women play kind of quietly. I don't do that, but most women I think play very respectfully. I tend to overplay. I tend to play too hard because I've I've been I felt competitive um, in a room a lot of the times with guys as a player. So I over you know I just play really dynamically, not only loud but you know really, like from here to here you know. And so um, um, I think that's what I've developed. Sort of it's my own signature kind of sound, um, mainly on the acoustic. I'm pretty aggressive compared to most acoustic players because, you know, I we sit in rooms all of our lives and play acoustic guitars like jam sessions with friends. And that become like one guitar can be a whole band. You know, you can pound on it. You can make it really loud and really soft and play bass and rhythm all at the same time. So um, the biggest lesson I've had to learn as a player is how to kind of refine it and simplify it and sort of shut up. You know, like simple, simpler, 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 simpler. Which is, I guess, how life feels, you know. That's how life feels too.